Suzanne Spring Hall, classic Parisian style outfits. Now I know I look like a bit of a Cheshire cat today, but when a big box from Suzanne arrives, you know it's going to be a very good day indeed. So I'm very excited to open this box with you, show you everything I bought, give you my first impressions, and of course do a bit of a try on and show you lots of different outfit ideas. And if that wasn't exciting enough, I also had the great pleasure of styling some outfits with some of the most beautiful handbags you ever did see. But first, let's get opening this box. Okay, so first up in this Cezanne Spring Hall for 2024, and I spy some stripes. Yes, I know, I know, I am totally obsessed with wearing stripes, but I do always get my wear out of every single one I've ever bought, so they are a really, really good investment for me. So this time I have bought get rid of rustly paper for a second. This is a new ink cardigan I spotted on their website recently. And the difference with this one compared to some of the other stripes that they've got and why I felt I needed it in my wardrobe because this one has been made from a blend of wool and cotton. I think almost about 50% cotton, I believe. So definitely a lot more appropriate for spring than some of the other fluffy numbers that I've got in my wardrobe. Now shopping on their website, what really caught my eye was that boxy shape. I do really kind of warm to that whenever I see it because I do find it really flattering. It's quite a casual vibe, I suppose, because it ends up looking a tiny bit Bit oversized but the very nature of stripes and it looking quite classically Parisian style means that it still feels really elevated at the same time so you've got that nice balance so really beautiful quality as Suzanne always are but you've also got those drop shoulder seams here which just makes it fall really nicely over the arm and I haven't tried it on yet obviously but I'm hoping that it's going to sit really beautifully particularly when I'm styling it with jeans as that's how I'd probably wear it the most just a quick mention on sizing in case you're new to Suzanne but with their knitwear I always go for a small and I generally find that very true to size. Oh can't wait to try it on. Very very excited with my first purchase. What do you think? Do let me know in the comments below. I'm tempted to whip that label off right now. It's definitely a keeper for me. Now obviously you've just seen one outfit idea there with the striped cardigan, but if I get time I shall film another outfit idea with as many pieces as possible. So when you get near the end of this video it'll go back round again with a second outfit idea. But if I don't get time and mum life takes over then I'll pop some other outfit ideas over on my Instagram page instead. So let's get on to my second piece and I can spot the colour a mile off because it's my absolute favourite and probably my quickest purchase out of the whole order would be this beautiful silk shirt. It's strange doing a haul and not having ironed all of the pieces first. It's it's kind of hurting my heart a little bit but I'm trying to go with the flow. So yes a very quick and easy purchase with this particular shirt it is slightly different because I don't wear an awful lot of print. However because the print is in a crew it's a lot more subtle. Florals of course are one of the big fashion trends for spring summer. No big surprises there really is it? And on top of that it's a shirt that I've bought in a couple of different colours already so I knew the style fits really nicely it's a brilliant shape and judging from experience they get an awful lot of wear which is what we like. Now this has been made from 100% silk and it retails just under £100 which I personally think when you're getting such a beautiful quality silk is actually really reasonable for them to keep it below that £100 mark. The print is very subtle, you've got covered buttons running down the front here, long sleeves obviously with just a very tiny bit of gathering into the cuff there but in all honesty with most of my shirts from Cezanne I rarely wear the sleeves down. I don't know if that's a, a personal styling quirk really but I always tend to roll them up and wear them on the elbow level. It does help draw attention to your waistband but also it feels a little bit more relaxed, a bit more effortless which is my kind of style I suppose or my kind of style that I aspire to be. So yes quite refreshing for me to have a print in my wardrobe albeit a very subtle one and a slightly different take on my favourite brown tones that will integrate with lots of my different skirts and trousers and indeed my jeans as we move through spring. Look one. So like I mentioned, I had the most wonderful experience the other day getting to head down to London and style a few different outfit ideas with a beautiful collection of handbags from Sacklab. Now if you're not familiar with the brand, Sacklab are the marketplace to not only buy but sell pre-loved designer handbags. So the first stunning handbag that I'm styling here is the Hermes Picotin Cargo 18 in a lovely shade of a crew. Now I decided to style this handbag with a smart yet quite everyday kind of look as I personally really love that contrast of such a beautiful, beautiful bag against my running around town doing errands kind of look. 
look, albeit quite a smart version of that. I really love that mixture of textures in this particular handbag too. It's subtle and very elegant of course, but I think really, really effective. Look two. Another outfit idea and another stunning Hermes handbag. But this time I'm styling the iconic Kelly bag in this beautiful deep shade of jade green. And I think it's safe to say that all of these handbags have stolen the show from my outfits, but rightly so, I would say. They're like works of art in themselves. However, to make that shade pop out even more, I decided to go with quite a minimal yet really elegant tonal look. Now, of course, a designer handbag is not an everyday purchase. They're meant to be a forever bag that will last you a lifetime. So it's really worth getting the purchase 100% right. And SackLab really do take pride in offering exceptional customer service to enable you to do that. Not only with their request a bag service, where they will help you find that perfect bag you're looking for, but even a bag spa to help you keep your purchase looking impeccable for as long as possible. Look three. And last but not least, I tried this timeless Chanel handbag crafted from aged black leather. Now, although this handbag would be perfect for the evening too, perhaps against a little classic black dress, I've styled it here against a polished daywear look instead, adding in that hint of camel with my blazer for a subtle contrast and a combination that I really love. I think you'll agree, a beautiful collection of handbags from some of the most iconic French designer labels out there. So please do take a look at Sack Lab's website at the end of this video. The link is in the description box below. It's like a treasure trove of dream handbags on there. And having seen and felt the quality for myself, I couldn't recommend them highly enough. Oh, I do love a Suzanne haul for spring and summer and autumn and winter. <laughs> okay, next up, we've got a pair of jeans, which I'm not even going to try and pronounce because if you've seen the name on their website, it's nigh on impossible if you don't speak French. So I shall put it on screen instead. But these are new on Cezanne for spring 2024. And it actually took me a couple of times to get my hands on them because they kept selling out and restocking and I just was a little bit too late every single time. But I finally, thankfully, managed to get myself a pair. So these are the five pocket straight cut, very slightly cropped pair of jeans. Quite a classic Parisian style, really. We often see French women wearing uh, cropped jeans, even throughout autumn and winter as well, and they style it with their ankle boots. It seems to be a length that they prefer, generally speaking. Now, like all of Suzanne's denim, these have been made from organic cotton, and this pair, as opposed to, I'm wearing the brute sexy at the moment, these have got 1% stretch in them. Can't really feel it, I must admit. Um, it'd be different when I try them on, but it does seem to help when you wash them, if you've got that tiny bit of elastin in there. It seems to make them spring back into shape, which is a good idea. So I'm hoping these will be a bit of a go-to pair of jeans for me that I will no doubt style them just looking at my wardrobe in a gazillion different ways over the coming months. Even knowing me, taking them on holiday, because of course you need a pair of jeans in 40 degrees heat. Sorry, just one more thing. I just hung this up and thought, you know, if you had 10 models in different shirts lined up, I think I could instantly spot which model is wearing a Cezanne shirt. I think they really stand out a mile. They follow the trend subtly, but they don't feel like they're bound to it. They've definitely got their own original style going on, which I, for one, very much appreciate. So after all that beautiful French luxury, let's see what else I have in this big box of happiness. Oh, I think this is definitely something to get us all in the mood for spring, summer. One beautiful and very French feeling midi dress. So stating the obvious, this is a red printed floral dress, but actually you're ticking two of the fashion trends at once with this. Both red, obviously we're seeing just about everywhere, but also don't forget about the roses print that we talked about back in January with my big fashion trends video. That's actually the first way I've managed to incorporate that fashion trend into my own wardrobe. And actually just looking at it, I know it's the sort of dress that I'm going to be able to reach for season after season once that fashion trend has come and gone. So sizing wise, let me just double check I'm correct. Yes, I did go for my usual size UK 10. So hoping that fits nicely. You've got a bit of smocking detail at the back here. So there is a bit of forgiving room as well. And then you've got a zip running all the way down the back here. The sleeve portion I thought was really nice, which I noticed on their website. Not only is it a little cap sleeve, which I much prefer to have just a little bit of something, but they've done those quite wide, so it's not going to feel restricting at all on your shoulder. And the other nice detail and an important touch um, is having elastic over the shoulder strap here, so it's not going to keep slipping off every time you move, which can be a little bit annoying, so I'm really glad they added that in. Obviously, you've got that deep V down the front, and that is mirrored at the back as well, but I'm thinking and hoping that it comes high enough at the back to easily be able to wear a bra underneath that. 
that. You've got that centre seam here and then flowing out into that big skirt section and then just a small split coming up the leg there. Now one other factor that makes this dress even more lovely for me is the fact that it's been made from Eco Vero, which is one of my absolute favourite sustainable fabrics. So between dress, fit, little shoulders, bit of red in there, got that lovely roses print, I'm thinking and hoping this one is going to be a keeper as well. So next up in my spring haul with Suzanne to an old favourite but in a new tone and that would be the clothes shirt in a beautiful vintage shade of blue. Now I know I mentioned that I have already got enough blue in my wardrobe however I don't have this particular shade. Lots of the items I've been buying recently are in pastel blue and I don't have anything slightly deeper a bit of a richer blue I suppose and to be honest I just absolutely adore the shade. I've had this one on my wish list for a long time. It matches my eyes. I know I'm going to wear it on repeat so I don't even feel too guilty about it. Most of the time I style these as open as I can get away with so it's just hitting the top of my bra. Again it's about trying to capture that essence of Parisian style I suppose where everything is beautifully made and gorgeous quality but you're styling it and wearing it in a quite a relaxed way, a very effortless fashion I suppose. Styling it back, making it feel a bit more relaxed and that often comes across as being a little bit more French and effortless as a result. Just looking at it and first impressions, although it's very, very creased and kind of hurting my soul, I do think that will start really beautifully with the pair of jeans that I've just got. In fact, we should just grab them so we can hold up tones. So as a tonal blue on blue look, maybe with a sprinkle of gold jewellery to just lighten it all, make it feel a bit more summery. You could add in accents of camel maybe, that would be a nice touch. Actually, let me grab that. I, my red is kind of throwing it off a little bit, but you could add in accents of camel. I think that's a really nice way to lift it or indeed go with something a little bit deeper with that rich heritage tone. I think that works equally well. If you only had the pennies to buy one blouse for your wardrobe, I do think this should be it. <laughs> they are just perfect in shape, fabric, composition, fit, just they tick every box for me. Now I've been looking for some camel flats or a kitten heel for quite a long time now and I was kind of almost actually like the ones that I'm wearing. I'm going to hold my leg up but these were just cheap and cheerful ones that I got from ASOS for about £12. So something on a similar train of thought but not the same obviously. And then I had a bit of a swerve when I spotted this particular pair on Suzanne's website. They're kind of giving a similar kind of vibe but I think and hopefully you agree in a much more elevated fashion. Fingers crossed these are as nice as I hope they're going to be. Ooh, ooh, these are lovely. Yes, oh actually the colour is even nicer than it looks on their website. You see how excited I am? Oh, they're lovely. Yes, 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 yes. The heel height as well actually is perfect. That's my ideal height for being able to walk in them all day long. Oh, I love those. They look tiny actually. No, definitely 39. That's me. So as you can see, they're not exactly ballet flats, but they've got a ballet flat essence to them. And they are decidedly French looking, I must admit, which makes sense as they've been made in Paris. But in contrast to lots of the other ballet flats that I often wear, these just feel so much more polished and actually literally polished. The um, braiding detail here has actually got a bit of shine on it, which I didn't really notice on the website, but it's actually a really nice touch. So these are made from vegetable tanned leather and as you can see they're braided which I think is a really nice touch actually just giving them a bit more depth and a little bit more interest. I've gone for them in the camel but I believe they're also available in a different tone. If they are I shall put a picture here. Obviously a slingback shape here, that small heel and then you've got square toes on them too which again I find particularly flattering. And when we think of creating that typical classic Parisian kind of style it's these sort of shoes that we often see French women wearing particularly actually with their cropped jeans throughout spring and then into summer. Let me just try that on. Sorry, I'm too eager. I can't wait till I do all my outfit ideas. Oh, please fit, please fit. I feel like one of the ugly sisters. I'm going to make this shoe fit. Oh no, I feel like Cinderella. Oh, they fit. So yes, very, very happy with my shoes. I cannot wait to get wearing them now. So as I hoped, I did manage to film a couple of extra ways that I would style these beautiful pieces. Although I haven't managed to do everything, so do keep an eye on my Instagram page for all my daily outfit ideas, as I will no doubt over the coming weeks be sharing lots of different ways to style these pieces. But here, as you can see, I'm styling this lovely cardigan again, 
but this time sharing a very simple look, but just showing how nice it looks styled with my new jeans. And funnily enough, an outfit that I'm actually wearing as I speak today. I'm about to head off to Walter's last ever primary school Easter service today before he heads off to senior school in September. But anyhow, yes, a lovely everyday combo that I'm seemingly re-wearing a lot already. On to look eight and another typical everyday outfit idea for me. But I wanted to share that I generally don't, and I don't believe anyone else should either, save their pieces solely for best. Life is far too short, as we all know, to not wear a favorite blouse, for example, even if you're just heading out to the shops. And it's actually interesting to see how lovely these beautiful pieces can look, even when they're styled with quite a dressed down pair of jeans. These days, I try and rewear all of my wardrobe as much as possible. And partly helping that process is just not being afraid to wear some of my more special items. Now, I'm not sure why I've decided to do a third outfit idea with the cardigan, but I must have subconsciously been picking a favorite. So here it is styled yet another way, but this time a little bit elegant elevated than before, styled with my top tailored trousers. Now these are back in stock actually, if anyone else was trying to get hold of them too, so I shall add a link in the description box. And don't forget, you can also see all of my links with images if you prefer, which is over on my blog. And again, there's a link to that in the description box. Now I've added a little knitted cami underneath for a bit of contrasting texture, and then my simple belly flats and a favorite handbag to finish. A very smart, casual look, I suppose, that just ticks a lot of boxes for me so hopefully you like that too. Not the outfit I wanted to show you but I just put this shirt back on to create another outfit idea and thought oh, that looks really lovely against that camel but let me show you another idea now. Styling it here for a smarter occasion with my tuck style tailored blazer and those matching trousers. I really like how the blue just lifts the overall color to make it feel a little bit lighter and ultimately how I would differently style this suit as we move into spring summer. And of course, I am a touch excited that we're finally getting into bare ankle season again. Spring has definitely arrived around here. The mowers are out in force in the village and the birds are making the biggest noise all morning and I love every second of it. And that, dear friends, is just about it. One absolutely gorgeous Cezanne haul for spring 2024, if I do say so myself. And not only do I really hope you like everything I chose, but also today's video has given you lots of different outfit ideas and inspiration how to create those classic Parisian style outfit ideas for yourself. Don't forget to let me know your favorite outfit idea in the comment section below. Is your favorite the red dress, the blue blouse, or my lovely new shoes? Do let me know. And don't forget, I've added a link in the description box below for you to view all those beautiful pre-loved designer handbags from Sack Lab. Thank you as always for all the likes, the comments, and for everybody who's subscribed. It is always very much appreciated. Have a wonderful week, everyone. I shall see you on Sunday. Take care.